Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Suman from the Wood Plus. Uh, this AI course training we are we are uh, dealing with the uh, module tenth module statistics. Okay. So this you would say prerequisite, but still uh, with Python, what uh, we have to learn some of the topics we have to go ahead. So in this uh, statistics module, uh, we entered in the last mod the last session. Uh, we understood about our uh, there are two categories post statistics you do have descriptive statistics is there inferential is there so descriptive statistics will explain it which will describe the data okay so we can see these are the notebook uh, cells we completed and uh, so post descriptive statistics we we should have these topics these are the topics mean central tendency and uh, dispersion or variability we can say spread how the values has been spread uh, compared with each value compared with the mean okay Just, uh, Okay, so these are the topics we covered up. Like uh, first, we have to know central tendency. What is central tendency? Like we have numbers are there, uh, but we have to calculate mean, median, and mode. These are nothing but central tendency. So mean we'll explain just like average. There are marks are there, but what is the main goal of average? So that we can understand, okay, uh, this is the average uh, marks the school is getting or college or university so that that single number <clears throat> will explain how the studies are going on whether fair good or not good so that that is one thing is called mean and after that one is median so there is another concept is called median and the median indicates same way and uh, but order values so we have to make it order and whatever the value which comes uh, in the middle, that is called median. Okay. So in these cases, we can see first, let's go to mean. So for anything, uh, I mean, uh, statistics model, we have to import first. So you can see I'm imported statistics. I have taken random data, some data. So of course, here I'll just uh, delete this value. Now let's consider this is 40. Okay. Just 40. Mm, okay that's fine and uh, here this is we, we know it our uh, list list of some numbers okay or you can take ages of the people or whatever you can consider as for example 25 is there, 22 is there, and uh, maybe 13 is there and 14 okay and 45 we got it let's say 45 and uh, something like 58 uh, 61, 66, sorry, 66 also is the date, and uh, 75, and uh, 18 something, 28, and let's take an even small data like 8, uh, 19, but let's take it to 39, and uh, this might be 10. Okay, now. You can take a simple, these are ages, ages of So here we can see I have taken one list of people ages. Now what I'm doing here, uh, we just import the statistics module and this module contains me. Okay. Now we want to look at uh, what, what is the average uh, age. So we got 35. Okay. Now let's take it as an you know, other perspective, like uh, four, something like three, and uh, something six. Okay, those are also ages. Now we just entered. Now you can see it changed. Okay, so early we got because of larger number, uh, 
other numbers, no major numbers. Now, whenever I take uh, lowest numbers, so the average is changing. Okay. Take it as a this of a couple of people. So you can also ask a print, print, and length because it will provide length of how many people are there. Uh, so it's thirteen people. So thirteen people we just collected and we got the age is nothing but twenty nine. Okay. So for this twenty nine, what we understood? So what is the main goal? So we can say these are in younger generation. Okay. Of course, some, some people are 66, 75, they are senior citizens, but a group we are looking, group in the sense like we are looking into people as a number, simple number, ages as a number. So this one has that mean, in the similar manner, we do have median is there. Okay. So when I just go to take some list, some data, and uh, we're just printing the data here, and uh, first we have made sorted okay? and no need to sort just ask it only median we will get it median so this is the value we got it 13. so 13 how it's free so if i just look at the numbers so four something is there okay values random values but if you look at that here the data now these values so we got into uh, you know 13 okay so 13 might be uh how how should we know like sorry 13 is the not value that's only length 8 is the median okay so you can see uh there are 13 so if you look at here if you look at these six values and these are the six values so what is the value which comes here this is called median okay, 13 what happened if I if we if you have even count? So even count. So I just uh, incremented one value, something like that. And when I just go to here, we got 6.5. Okay. So how it is framed? You can see here uh, these are 3, 6, 6 plus 2, 8, 10, 12, and 14. This count is 14. You can see we are looking count as well. Now 14, what is the median value comes to here? So we can't take uh, 7 plus 7. Okay, that's fine. But 6 plus 6, you can take it here. So these are the 6 values. And uh, 7, I think. Okay. 7th value. 7th value and 8th value. Okay. So here we can see uh, these, three, these three 6 are there. In the similar manner, left side is also orderly placed. So these are 6 values. But the value which goes to average means 6 plus 7 by 2. That is called median. So we have to tell and we have to know it. Uh, if, if it is an even count, so definitely it should be have next number and that number by 2. Addition. Addition by 2. So that is called median. Now, what is mode? So mode indicate most repeatable value. Most repeatable entity or value we can say. So in the first case, uh, I have taken data 0, data 1, and data 2. So when I just provide here, mode of all those values, so we got it here, uh, 8, 4, 8. Okay. But how it's giving is important. So if, you look, if I look at here, 8 is 3 times. So most repeatable value is that value. 8, 3 times. And uh, even some of the things are there, 4 repeated 2 times, twice. But 8 comes into 3 times. So that is a call mode. Now, if I look at uh, uh, equal count, for example, 4 is repeated 2 times, uh, sorry, 3 times. 8 is also repeated 3 times. Okay. So in the in that cases, so if we look for the left to, to right, whatever first comes to, that becomes more. Okay. So that becomes more. So what I have done in a similar manner, I have taken here, uh, you know, 8 first. Okay, same count, just I placed into this values to left. Okay, this values to right. Now, what is the got? We got eight. Okay, so that is a mode. So, people are know uh, like mode is most repeatable, but order is also here. We have to look at okay. So, whichever comes to left to right, that will be goes as a most repeatable value. Uh, and what is the use? 
what is the use of pro mode see they same take it as a age assembly but once we got more most repeatable age so they have to focus on uh, you know that value okay mostly for example if i if i want to look at uh, mm, same ages or prices take it as a prices so most people which price is preferring okay so based on that decision will be taken by the company okay so that is advantage for example you can take we can take uh, some flipkart or uh, zomato or uh, amazon so mode will be explained to them so that uh, they will prefer that that value to for the better profit and better you know insights so that's about central tendency okay. and uh, see what uh, uh, when we have a larger number so i just take it even here odd number just to look at so what is the value which comes into 629 that's a fixed value but when i take a odd number so we can see 628 we got it here not 628 628.5 and in this case as we can see 629.3 okay so here i just may, uh, you know make sure to provide it so that uh, we can look at median okay so i think uh, this will be median here we got it right hmm. okay no problem here i explained in the cell markdown cell i'll just uh, make sure to go over here right it's Okay, no and uh, here dispersion what is dispersion dispersion is nothing but this value whatever mean we calculated uh, for each value how it is dispersed how those values will be spread what is the advantage so if the values are spread less okay spread in the sense like variability and uh, we can make sure to provide that that sort of uh, you know interest so if the values we are comparing with mean only so for this what are the techniques we have to look at so one thing is a range second thing is iqr or interquartile range then variance and standardization these are the main concepts of uh, you know look for the variability between values range is very simple like whatever the maximum value deduct it minimum value you can deduct it from the maximum value so that is a range we got okay. so in these cases we can see 1700 or let's take it uh, 70 okay now when the me uh, one value changes so you can see we got range as a two okay so when i get a uh, highest value so definitely you will get a more range so you can see this is not a clear indication or uh, you know, range is not explained very well only we are looking highest versus lowest that's one thing. okay uh, larger number minus or lowest number you can say very minimum value and uh, what is the maximum value what is interquartile range interquartile range is similar but you have to look for the percentage okay so here we do have a couple of percentages that 25th percentile all of you can say or sometimes we can say quartile also means we are divided this entire values into four parts four parts in the sense like first 25th percentile second 50th that is also called median and third is a 75th and last is the 100 percent okay so if i want to find out that value what we have to go ahead first import numpy and this numpy contains percentile so we can mention the data here and here we just what is the percentile you want to look at so 25th percentile that is called you know we are just naming it our uh, first quarter okay so now we got a first quarter and uh, here we will got 12.7 this number is not available here you can see that's only value uh, you know values it will be look at the quartile only okay or percentage if you if you, if we make percentage 
generally under percentile 50th percentile 25th percent this one aspect or quartile if i want to tell first quarter that is 25th second quarter that is 50th at the same time it is also median okay now in the similar manner you can ask not only 25th not only you know or uh, 75th you can ask anything for example 15 percentile also you'll get it okay but they're not quarter so just uh, we are making looking the data into four different parts and uh, we are looking that values as a 25th percentile or first quarter similar manner i just want to look at 75th just to change the 75th same data and we are just printing that uh, you know q1 comma q3 here and we are deducting q3 minus q1 that is now interquartile range okay and uh, for this also we are getting outliers as well because of quartiles we will get outliers what is lower outlier lower outlier will indicate q1 minus 1.5 times iqr that is lower quarter if you want to go to upper quarter so we have to quarter three plus here we have to add plus because we are looking better than that value and here we are deducting okay so that's comes to lowest so this value we are making into uh, looking the data and these values will be make sure to provide how the values will be threaded with the uh, compare with the uh, you know, uh, quartiles only. Okay. So now, if you want to, you know, make it the uh, same way, uh, already we cover up uh, you know, box plot, right? So that you can apply here or describe either way. Same data we are looking numerically. So count 10 are there total, and out of 10, average we can see 16.13, and the standard deviation we can see minimum. So here also you will get us uh, 250 percent. Either manually uh, using NumPy also we can uh, request or describe method is also better. Okay. How it's calculating, it's giving clearly here. So we got median also, you can see 16.445, and that is also 50th percentile. Okay, same way. We can say both. Now, if I want to look at that values in a graphical manner, so what we are looking here, box plot. See, box plot will also explain here, same data. I just want to first run it, run it here. And now uh, run it here. And here we got median, just to look at 50%. And here we got box plot. So this box plot visually explains. So what is the lowest value here? Uh, you can see, it's clearly mentioned, lowest value is a 8. And uh, this explains quartile 1. So this explains what uh, general quartile 1. Okay. So in a similar manner, if I look at here, this explains quartile 2. And also, it's a medium. And uh, third thing indicate this value, third value, and uh, which will explain straight away. You can look at this nearby quantity, and this indicate what I'll think. Okay. And the largest, uh, uh, largest value is this value. So if you go look at here, this value. So numbers, it's clearly explained here. Now, if you look at the data, so you can see the lowest value is eight. Okay. And uh, highest value, we got uh, something like uh, 23. So that is what this 23. This 23. So same thing, describe and uh, we can use the box plot to know it. And uh, so what is the advantage? For example, if you take it in outliers also, you can just try for it. So we will get outliers. For example, if I change any major number, 
what I will eat. Uh, let's say here we are taken into something like 1900. You can see we got an outlier. So the box plot is also explaining outlier. Here box is there, but it cannot visible. Uh, box plot is there, similar way. Or not 1900, just to take it into 19, uh, 190 or something. Let's take it into 190. Now we can see. So the, this dot indicate outlier. Okay, that is very far away value. Similar way, you can look at uh, native as well. So if we want to change it here, uh, something like lowest number minus seventy eight or something like that. I can see we got two outliers. One is lowest and one is the highest. So how it is calculating is important. Okay, we are uh, we can able to see, but how it's going with the this formula. This is a formula we have to look at. So this value. So this dot indicate. I just make sure to provide. So this dot indicate here simply. Q1 minus 1.25 times IQR because the IQR we calculated 1.5 times in the sense like multiplication IQR and whatever the value which comes to you know top here so the, this is about uh, 2 3 plus this value indicate 2 3 plus Thank you. You put it plus one point five times. Thank you. It's not value, it's more than that. Value. Means whatever the value, because these are numbers only. IQR is a number, Q3 is a number, but greater than Q3 plus one point five times IQR, those are called outliers. Those are called upper outliers, we can say. And this value lower indicate lower outlier. So that is a main you know focus on. Now, what is the variance? See, variance indicate same way, similar way, but it's a squared deviations from the mean. Okay, squared deviation. So if I just want to calculate variance, so I just have taken uh, values. First, we calculate a mean, and next after we are just uh, taking the value. And statistics also contains variance, mean, mean, median, mode, variance, all those things are available. Further, if you want to look at, so just DIR and uh, statistics is there. If you forgot it or if you just remember it, so just first look at DIR so that it will list out the all the values. So here you can see clearly mentioned mode, okay, median. Similarly, we do have grouped mean is there, high median is there, low median is there, something, something values are there. So that's slowly you can practice it once you, you know, uh, slowly one by one. So here you can see quantiles. Okay. So quantiles also you can look at. And now we can see we got 5.9743 something value. Okay. Now what I would say. Compare with me how these values are spread out. Okay. So for that, first we, we are looking mean. Okay. Or just uh, you can also ask here requested. First we look at into.
Say this is new. Now we are looking both mean and variance. So we got to here, we can see 6.1538 right, is there mean. So with the with, with this value, with this value, so how other values value is spread at? So in proper marking. Okay. So that is the what explains. Six, we are comparing with two. And uh, six point uh, one five, same comparing with three, same comparing with four, five, and eight. Whatever the values are there, so we are just comparing. But with that value, how these are values are spread. Now next comes to into standard deviation. <clears throat> standard deviation similar way, but this will be even better value provided. So instead of square root deviations, it will provide, you know, square root of variance. So you got it. So here, now we are comparing with fixed with two. So obviously, four deduct four changes are there, right? And uh, if you if you go ahead with the four, so two changes are there. If you compare with seven, uh, slightly one change is there. So this is two, and this is two. But it's providing standard deviations. Okay, how the remaining values will be. You know, make sure to provide it. That is what variance. Okay. So if you want to look at summary statistics with Python, so I gave it a warning.